Alright, what's up guys, today I'm teaching you a due to request how to make this automatic melon farm. So you know, it's standing on pressure plate and the melons come down. So, let's get started. Okay, so the way I've done this, um, I'm gonna, I've organised it into um, two, three easy steps that I'm gonna like walk you through on how you do it. Um, I'm going to start by saying this isn't originally my idea, I've just adapted it to fit in a smaller environment like I have because I'm in a cave, so that's um, sort of my, ad my adaptation of it. And the original design, you can sort of do it like really loads of layers up, but it's a bit like space using, and this, this way is just better, so well, it's better for a smaller thing. Anyway, first thing you want to do. You want to build, in fact I might as well do it, I'm going to build a row of wood, or whatever material you want, to about here. And that is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 blocks. I'm going to build one up here, one up here, I want to pay like that. Next thing you want to do, is bring out here with dirt. Take your bucket, you don't have to do this now, but it helps to check. As you can see, it comes right to the edge, and this is what's gonna gonna be the bit that brings all your melons to you. So that's the first step. That's how you build this. Let's um, jump into the next step. Okay, so this is the next step. Um, I've sort of gone ahead and done the parts just so it's easier. This is a sort of mechanism thing. It's probably been done before, but I like thought of it myself. It's sort of an inverter that allows you to go up and then obviously press the pressure plate. It's gonna do it. It's in a small environment, so I just run over it and I'll show you how it works. So you have a bit of redstone here. It's going to follow all the way up here. And on the other side of this, this block here, is a redstone torch. This one, when activated, it's going to deactivate these two. And then when you activate this one, it's going to activate them too. And then you know you don't even need this one, I don't think. Hang on, bear with me. Pretty sure you don't need that one. Yeah, there you go. See, it's, it's small. You don't need that one there. And obviously that activates, and that's going to activate them. Which is going to form the mechanism for pushing the press, pushing the um, pistons. So, I'm going to go ahead and build that so that you know how to build it. Alright, first things first. I probably should have got a bit organised before I did this, but usually I don't do tutorials. So, we're going to get the pressure plate and just... For the sake of knowing like where it is, you're gonna put a piece of wood there and put that on, put pressure plate on. Gonna follow this redstone here, and then like on the other one, you put a press a um, redstone torch there. You put this that there, and you put another one here. And now we can build this up. Now the redstone going across here, and obviously stand the pressure plate. It's going to activate the redstone, so that then we can build this up a layer, bring this across, and you can see this is this is how like I organise them. So it's like you get the most um, melons or pumpkins. So you're going to put a block there, two blocks here, one block there. This way, when you put your pistons down. It's just gonna. You're gonna be able to put. I might as well do it. Bear with me. Like I say, I don't normally do tutorials, but um, if it's requested, so it's only fair that I do it. And this one should be dirt, should it? Yep, it can be. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I guess it's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if you put your melons here, that one's going to go onto this one, that there, that there, and that there. And now that's pretty much it. The rest that you would put on is pretty much just decoration. As you can see here, just putting glass on. That's just purely for decoration. But that is literally the um, pumpkin farm. Um, I, I can't really think of a way to explain it any better. Simply because it is really simple, that's what makes it so good, just to make. The only really complicated bit is the inverters, 
but even that's not even that hard. Um, so um, I got another request to do a tutorial on the wheat farm. Um, I will be uploading that when I get it recorded. Um, sorry I haven't been uploading in a while. It obviously, I've not been. It's not been possible to. And also, let me know about this texture pack because it's a um, customizer of John Smith. And I wanted to get a different one, just like a sort of more SMP's revival, if you remember that, like back in the day, the um, style wood. But, um, yeah, that's the automatic melon farm. That doesn't work. <laughs> oh yeah, of course you have to put the redstone on this. And then, voila. Or voila. And, well, there you go. That is pretty much the automatic melon farm. Um, I hope this has helped. I know it's been a bit basic and a bit vague, but there really is nothing to it. Um, so if it has helped, you know, leave a like. Um, if if this is like first video you're watching from me, go check out my channel. My cup of tea is getting cold. Yeah, go check out my channel. Um, go see what builds I've got if you want, and subscribe because I've got some more stuff coming on. Um, I'm gonna do a quick tour of my single player world. Um, that'll be uploaded after this because I've got some. I've had quite a bit of time, so I've got quite a bit onto that. But yeah, that's my lion farm, automatic melon farm. Um, I hope it's helped. Um, peace. Just thought I'd throw this in at the end. Um, I realised how you could actually do multiple layers. This was in the original design that I'd seen, but I actually watched the video on how to do this, and then I like I cancelled the video because I didn't want to. Sounds a bit stupid, but I didn't want to know how to do it. I liked the idea and the layout, and I sort of wanted to do the redstone myself, and that's what I did, and then. I've worked out how you can actually do multiple layers, and this could go up, like, I mean, as much as the world high. I don't know why you'd need that many melons, but, basically, all you're going to want to do is just run this redstone. I'm not going to do, like, in-depth how to do this, because I've only just figured out how to do it. But, all you basically do is run the redstone. And I'm going to just explain this in a second, because... This bit I will explain. Because if you are planning on doing it, you need to do this bit. Alright, so, um, for you to carry it on up, every two layers, you're going to have to put an invert, a, um, repeater, so that the, um, my mic's all over the place, so that the signal can keep on going, like, because it only travels 15 blocks, I believe, and then the water comes down like that, down there, but I won't do in-depth, like, on how to do this, but basically just run the redstone up, and every s other layer, you put that same layout down here, but here, and then here you're gonna have the water, and then you would have to put some water here running down, which I actually hadn't thought of. You see, I'm always thinking, and then that's gonna, that's in the wrong place, but you know, y you get the idea. So, um, I'm gonna go put that in my single player world because I've just figured out how to do it, and I want more melons, don't know why, just for the sake of it, but. Um, yeah, that's the that's how you get multiple layers. Um, this is gonna be the end of the video, so I've already said my outro. So um, yeah, peace. Oh, can I just say this wasn't my original design? I've just adapted it and done the redstone myself. So before you go trolling at me, if you do know the guy who made the original design, then you know all credit to him. I'm just throwing this out there of how I did it. Um, peace.